I love patchouli. It's one of my favorite fragrance notes. Do you love it? Because I'm gonna tell you my top five if you're looking for a good patchouli-centric, patchouli-focused fragrance. Coming up next. Welcome back everybody to Joel The Nose. As you can see here at Osme Perfumery, doing a video today, which, you know what, I don't think I've ever done before. I don't know, maybe I have, I, I really don't think I have. And this is my top five list of patchouli fragrances. So right, patchouli is one of the most sought after and used fragrance notes. You can see it in almost any fragrance, whether it be feminine, masculine, unisex, as most niche fragrances are. But you know, you, so it's, it's a very common base note that's used in most fragrances. So you'll see it as part of that kind of woody, dry down, very popular, blends well with a lot of fragrances. But what you don't see a lot of are fragrances that are just like patchouli bombs that really just like hit you with the patchouli right from the start and through the whole fragrance, from the top to the heart notes to the base notes. And you really have to like patchouli, right? I, I know not everyone does, but if you are a patchouli lover, I'm gonna turn you on to five great fragrances today that maybe you've heard of, maybe you haven't, but if you like patchouli, you gotta try these, all right? So let's get right into this. Coming in at number five, I've got from Montal. You can see, love this bottle. And this is Vetiver Patchouli. The reason why I like this one, I really like Vetiver too. To me, those are just a great combination between the two notes. But this also has an opening of this kind of like almost creamy carrot and, and this kind of sweeter jasmine in the mid range that just gives it this kind of freshness, almost herbaceousness. And again, we are going into the fall season. So the carrot, the jasmine, patchouli also to me is a great fall note. It's a great, uh, you know, base note. It's a great fragrance material to be wearing for the fall. I've already done my top five fall fragrances, but these five fragrances also are great for the fall. So check them out coming up as we're going in. All right, so that's Vetiver Patchouli. Next, all right, always love these bottles. This is Mon Patchouli. Let's see if we can get it in there. All right, there we go. Mon Patchouli from the Spanish niche house, Ramon Manigal. If you've never seen the bottles, this is the opening to my Joel the Nose YouTube channel. You've seen me, it's like James Bond. Such a cool opening. All right, so, oof. What I like about this one is, again, the patchouli you get right from the beginning, it's right there. But it's also, to me, this one, the dry down is what I really love about this is because it goes into this frankincense in the middle and then in amber. So amber is another great note for the fall. Frankincense, of course, you know, another classic, classic perfume material. But I really love this one because it's, it's very kind of aromatic, very dry, very woody. And that patchouli, again, just hits you right from the beginning. It just grabs you and pulls you in, as I think a great fragrance does. So if you want to try something you haven't tried before, from Ramon Manigal, again, Mon Patchouli. All right. Next, let's go to number three. These are some houses that maybe, you know, fragrances you're not aware of. So that's what I like about this, giving you some new stuff here. This is Patchouli Nosy B. Patchouli Nosy B from Paris Monte Carlo. Ah, again, oh boy. This is one of those fragrances that just, if you love patchouli, man, you gotta try this. This is intense. Look at that sprayer. This is, these top three, by the way, to me, any of them could be interchangeable as number one. These are really patchouli bombs. And let me show you the juice. You can see the bottle again there. What distinguishes this one for me and why it's on my list, it also has this beautiful cedar wood and bitter cocoa in there. So it gives it a little bit of that patchouli, I mean, sorry, that chocolatey flavor. And a lot of people, when they smell patchouli, some patchoulis can actually have that kind of chocolatey smell already. So when you mix this bitter cocoa in with that patchouli, to me on my nose, I get a wonderful chocolate, smooth, creaminess from this fragrance, but overall, it's just, again, a patchouli bomb. So check that out from Paris Monte Carlo. That's patchouli, nosy bee. 
All right, my top two, this was very tough, very tough. I was trying to slide back and forth. One of these I'm actually wearing today. And it's the reason why I actually did this list because I realized how much I love patchouli fragrances that are just like straight out patchouli bombs. And this is the one I'm wearing today at number two, Jeroboam's Ligno. I, nothing else to say other than that this is pure, unadulterated patchouli. This is an extrait also. The other ones are all eau de parfums. This is an extrait, it's very high concentration, smaller bottle, about 30 mLs, which also means it's cheaper. You can get in for a cheaper price on this one. And it starts out with this kind of like saffron and goes into this rose, and then you have musk in the dry down, which gives it a very sexiness uh, with that, with that you know, patchouli. Lasts all day, stays on your skin all day, projects really far for a good two, three hours and I get eight to nine plus hours on my skin, and it's basically patchouli from the start to the finish. You have these other notes dancing around the patchouli, but that patchouli is very linear and it's very much with you, so if you really wanna smell like patchouli all day, try Ligno from Jeroboam. And that leads me to my number one fragrance, my number one favorite patchouli fragrance. Highly recommend it, guys. That is Patchouli 1969 from Maitre Parfumeur et Gontier, the French niche house. If you haven't seen this bottle before, I have talked about it before. It has this cool little tassel with the peace sign. And again, Patchouli 1969, it's actually referring to the Woodstock years and this kind of peace and love and, you know, humankind, mankind, which, right, especially right now we could use more of. But this is just, to me, this may be the best patchouli fragrance of all time. It's it's got this cardamom opening, which gives it a spiciness. So you, you're, you, you come in with this kind of sweet, almost spicy cardamom. You have Elemy, which is another great fragrance note. That's kind of classic French perfumery. And I just lost the cap. Hold on. Uh, and then you go again into this kind of sexy musk and vanilla, which gives it a little bit of sweetness. But again, it is patchouli all the way. All those other notes are playing second fiddle. They are dancing around in the background. If this were a Broadway play, this is the star of the show. The other notes are all in the background, doing their thing, adding to the presentation, adding to your enjoyment of the play or the show, but the real star right here, Patchouli 1969. Really wonderful fragrance. So anyways, there you have it, my top five patchouli fragrances that you got to try. I really recommend it for you patchouli lovers. And um, yeah, if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. Of course, ring the bell for notifications. You can like the video and you can follow me on Instagram at Joel the Nose also. And also, yeah, that's it. All right, I'll be back soon with another video. Thanks for watching.